Hey guys, Ron here. Hope everyone is well. Today I am going to do, I'm going to show you the home of Joan Crawford and specifically this particular house because Joan Crawford lived in Los Angeles, lived in New York, uh, was born in Texas. This particular house is known as the Mommy Dearest House from the book, from the movie. She definitely lived here with at least two of her adopted children. Christopher and Christina. Christina, of course, wrote the book, Mommy Dearest, a scathing account of her adopted mother, or of adoptive mother, uh, right after Joan Crawford died and left all her children out of her will and gave all her money to charity. So anyway, uh, I'm going to tell you a little bit about Joan Crawford, and then we're going to appear in front of her house. It's good timing because there's been construction on the house for quite a while, and I just happened to get here. Uh, when all the guys are packing up and whistling and happy and going home for the day. So, uh, yeah, it's really good timing for us. Come on. Got the little guy with me. Always wants to go his way and not my way. He's on the hunt for something. So let's talk a little bit about Miss Crawford. Um, I'll show you the neighborhood, too. She was born Lucille Lassure. Lucille Faye Lassure. And we're not even sure what year she was born in actually sometime in early 1900s died in 77 she started as a dancer uh, in the chorus actually moved up to the chorus and eventually uh, signed a contract with MGM and some say she was um, let's say involved with some of the producers and studio heads and that's how she got her start that happened a hell of a lot as you know it's been going on since 1910 but I think those days are coming to an end um, thank God for everybody involved. Um, anyway, so she signed a contract with MGM in 1925, and she really was quite a big star for, oh gosh, about 40 years. Uh, she was doing film and then branched into TV at the end, and still a little bit of film, uh, for a good 40 years. She was married four times, Joan Crawford. Uh, her first husband was Doug Douglas Fairbanks Jr., and I believe it was her third husband was an actor named French Chaton, who was pretty big when he was young. In fact, I discovered him on uh, an episode of The Twilight Zone, which was probably around 1960, and he was probably at his height in the 30s or 40s, height of popularity. So he was an older guy then, but, uh, uh, you know, one of those classic actors from that era that had a lot of gravitas, a lot of charisma. Which way? Which way? We can't, we just can't decide which way to go. Let's go back this way. So, um, sorry, got a couple notes here. Um, in the 50s, Joan Crawford was married to Al Steele, who was the president of, actually the CEO of Pepsi-Cola. So, obviously, that's two pretty good incomes between the two of them. And she, <clears throat> not retired, but her career kind of, excuse me, her career kind of waned for a while. She did a little bit of TV and some film, but she was not active as active as she had been. Uh, but then in 1962, not that it was necessarily a comeback, but she did the film Whatever Happened to Baby Jane. And that was a really big hit commercially and at the box office. And everybody, probably including herself, I assume, thought she'd get... The, uh, at least be nominated for Best Actress. Excuse me, I is tearing. But she was not. Let's take a look at these. Let's take a look at this house if we can see it. Everything's behind the gates. So, as I said, she had the adopted kids. And she left when she died. Oh, by the way, so let's go back against, by the way, that doesn't fit. In 1970, she did her last film. And in 1974, she asked that um, she stopped doing, well, not that she asked, but she stopped doing any public appearances where she had to be photographed. And then basically in 19, that was in 74. And then she became, basically became pretty reclusive until she died in 1977. And then like I say, and her will, left everything to charity. So it was quite the controversy. And Christina Crawford, 
her adopted daughter. If you've seen the movie Mommy Dearest or wrote or read the book, you'll see that she claims that uh, Joan Crawford was extremely abusive psychologically and physically. Uh, no wire hangers. No wire hangers! And played wonderfully, maniacally by um, Faye Dunaway in the 1983 film Mommy Dearest. But anyway, um, many of Joan's defenders, many people that worked with her, came out and said it never happened, not true. They, or at least they never saw any signs of abuse, physical or emotional, to the kids. Uh, but some came out and said they did see some stuff that was not, that was inappropriate. So, you know, we'll never know the true story. We just have to take what Christina Crawford says uh, and leave it at that. Okay, folks, so in a minute, I'm going to take you in front of the house, and we'll be right back. Okay, folks, are we rolling? We are rolling. Here's the house. It's under construction, as you might be able to tell. It's not nearly the biggest house in this area, on this street. Um, I mean, I don't know what it was like in the, when Joan Crawford lived here. But it's certainly not uh, the largest home. I'm sorry I can't get more than that. Can we get the house there? Yeah. It is a beautiful home, though, and it's a beautiful neighborhood. Been in there under construction for quite a while. They've got this... This looks like they're ripping the guts out of it and starting all over again, or I don't think they're knocking it down, but anyway, this is the home. And it's a beautiful street. It's a beautiful part of Brentwood. Oh, there's an open window, but I no, it's not open, just some wood in the window. Anyway, okay folks, well that's it for today. The Joan Crawford, aka Mommy, Mommy Dearest House. I hope you enjoyed it. I sure enjoyed doing it for you. If you like my channel, please subscribe. Please comment in the comment section if you see fit. And please give me likes. I would certainly appreciate it. And I know that YouTube certainly likes it as far as the algorithm. So uh, there's the porta potty in the background for the construction guys. And with that, we'll call it a day. Uh, and if, by the way, if you do subscribe, please hit the little bell icon next to the subscribe button and then you'll be indicated as to when i post okay folks thanks for watching and we'll see you again bye bye